Hello, this is Dan Pro. Welcome to my rigging channel. We're in part 6 of my facial rigging tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to add some custom properties. And custom properties are like little remote controls um, to do um, very interesting things here. The first custom property they want to create is basically to drive a switchable parent. Now currently in our eye rig, if we rotate our head, because our eye target itself is parented to our deformation bone, whenever we move that our eye take target um, moves with it. And this is actually can cause a lot of counter animation problems for an animator because typically you will want your eyes to sp stop and point at a specific location and if you move your head you would have to um, counter animate your eye target to stick to that um, place. So we are going to set up a um, switchable parent um, in order to combat that um, counter animation problem. So the first thing we're going to do is go into side view here or front orthographic view. I'm going to select the def head bone in edit mode with def head selected shift D and duplicate a new bone and I'm going to scale this new one down. This is going to be called MCH I P R N T for parent. Now I want to parent the MCH I parent to the root bone. Control P keep offset and I want to reparent our actual eye target from the deformation bone to our new eye parent bone. Control P, keep offset. Well, our parenting is set up here. You can go back to pose mode. Now because I duplicated the MCH eye parent from our deformation bone, um, some things were duplicated that I don't want. One of them is it's set to um, display as a deformation group, so our deformation group, so I'll remove that from that group. And then also duplicated the copy transforms that was on our deformation bone. So I'm going to get rid of that constraint. Next, what I want to have happen here is I want the MCH eye parent bone to copy the transforms of our deformation head bone. So I'm going to select def head, shift select MCH eye parent, shift control C, add a copy transforms constraint. And now what we have is basically what we had before. Whenever I move the head bone, our eye target is going to move with it because it is parented to a bone that is copying the transforms of that deformation bone. But we can select this bone and turn the influence of that um, constraint on and off. So if I turn it to off, now when I move the head, it's no longer going to inherit that rotation. So now we basically have set up a switchable parent. Now for an animator, this isn't very nice to have to come in here and turn the influence on and off. So we're going to use a custom property um, to drive the influence of this. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is add a driver to the influence slider. So add driver, create waiter single. Next I'm going to need a custom property to drive the influence of that slider. So I'm going to select the face options bone, go to bone properties, slide down, find our custom properties, and just click add and we'll get a new one called prop by default. We're going to edit this property. I want to change the property name to something that's going to be useful for the animator. So I'll just call this eyes follow head. Now the min and max value is um, what we want here because this we want this custom property to go from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 because that is the influence slider value uh, 0, 0.0 to 1.0. But the property value has actually two um, functions here. One, it determines your default value for that slider. And the second thing is, is depending on the value you put in here, if you put in a float value, your um, slider will be a float, and if you put in an integer, it will be an integer. So I can just leave this as 1.0 because I want that to be the default, and because this is a float, I need it to be a float. All right, so I'll click OK. Now with face options selected, you'll notice in the end panel, if we scroll all the way down, we'll have a new drop down called properties. Now if you select a different bone, that properties panel will disappear but I want to drag this up um, towards the top here so it's more useful to me and open it up and you can see we have the eyes follow head custom property now currently it's not doing anything we need to configure that driver um, so this will um, drive that but you'll see it's going from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 I'm gonna hover over the eyes follow head property and copy the data path to this so next up I need to reselect the MCH eye parent bone because that has the constraint with the driver on the influence value and I want to go to a special drivers layout here. Now I like to um, set up a, a window um, just for setting up drivers and you can add 
a new default layout here. You'll notice if I click the drop down, we have many different options. So with default selected, I can just click plus. I'm going to call this drivers. Next, I'm going to take this corner and slide this over because I want a 3D view on this side. I'm going to type T just so I have some more real estate. And on this side, I'm going to go to a graph editor. And the graph editor by default will be set to F curves. I want it to set to drivers. And then we have the plus up here. We can just type the end panel to get that out. And now I can now I can select the influence of the MCH iParent boner. That is the influence right here. Alright, so there's a few different tabs here. We need to click on drivers. Let's configure our new driver here. It's going to be a scripted expression, and our scripted expression is going to be equal to a single variable called var. So I'll just type in var, and our variable is going to be a single property type of variable. That single property is located on the armature, and now I can paste that path that I copied earlier to that custom property. Control V in the paths here. Let me get this a little bit wider here so you can see the whole thing. Pose bones, face options, eyes follow head. So basically our variable is going to be equal to that custom property, and that is the path to that custom property. So I can click update dependencies, go back to our default view here, and now with face options selected, we can find our custom property and turn that constraint on and off for our MCHI parent bone. So now we have a switchable parent and under face options we have an easy way for an animator to um, control that property. So let me do one that's going to be slightly different here. Add a new custom property. Um, what I like to do often is change the x-ray value here. So under x-ray, armature panel, I'm going to add a custom property to turn off this checkbox from x-ray, um, from off to on. Now because this is a, a simple checkbox, when it's unchecked, that value is going to be 0, and when it's on, the value is going to be 1. So we're going to need a custom property that is, has an integer value of 0 or 1. So I'm going to add a driver to this, create later, single. Next I'm going to add a new custom property with face options bone selected. I'll just call this new property I'll edit. I'll call this x-ray. Now again, I want x-ray on by default, but if you want it off, you can type 0. I'm going to use the integer of 1, and the min and max is going to be fine. Now these are going to be float values, but this is what determines whether it is an integer or a float. So a, a min of 0 and a max of 1 is good. I'll click OK, and now we have our x-ray slider here. I'm just going to need to copy the data path of it. Then with any bone in the armature selected, I can go back to my driver's tab here, find my x-ray, and again scripted expression, this is going to be um, the same pretty much for all of these. Um, scripted expression equal to a variable, that variable called var is a single property located on the armature, and then I can just paste the path to face options x-ray, update the, dep the dependencies, and go back to default view here, and I should be able to turn x-ray for my armature on and off. Now, a similar type of um, custom property that I can add, if I select the face mesh, almost every one of these meshes, and there's nine meshes that make up Gramps had here, have a subdivision surface modifier on here. So I'm going to add a new custom property to drive the view levels. So because there's nine different meshes, there's nine different um, subdivision surface modifiers, and selecting each one is kind of a pain. I'm going to use a single slider to um, basically drive all of these. So I'm going to add a driver to the view levels. Next, select face options, add a new custom property to drive those levels. New one called prop, edit, we'll call this sub D. Sub D. Now for property value, I typically like to have um, two levels of subdivision for my um, for my modifiers on um, by default my min of 0 and let's just go to a maximum of 4 subdivision levels here and click OK. Now I have a new slider here that goes from 0 to 4. I'll leave it at 2. Copy the data path. Now I need to reselect the mesh because that has the modifier on it. 
go to my driver's panel, level subdivision surface, select this. Again, scripted expression is var single property variable located on armature, control V, paste in, pose bones, face options, sub D. Update the dependencies. I'll go back to default view. I should be able to change the subdivision surface levels of my face here. You can see it changing as I scroll down from zero. Now because I've already went through all the, um, I've copied, I can copy this driver to my other um, meshes and the other subdivision surface modifiers. Paste the driver. So I just need to select all these meshes. I can just do H to hide that face. Select the teeth. I can paste that driver. And this is just a great way to save a lot of time. Only configure it once. Paste it to everything else here. See, I got all of those. I think I missed the tongue. I'm going to do Alt H to unhide the meshes. Now I should be able to drive all of the um, subdivision modifiers on every single mesh with a simple slider. So, the way this is, the reason this is important is a lot of times you'll want to have um, your subdivision levels at your um, render levels. But if I play this, you'll notice I'm getting a very low frame rate. But I can drop this down and get a full frame rate um, while I'm animating and uh, watching my animations uh, back. So I'm getting um, real time uh, feedback. So that is why I like to have that type of um, custom property. Now here are a few extra ones that I've added. Now I'm not going to go through these because this tutorial would get very long if I did. You just clear everything out here. I've set up a custom property to turn off the action constraints uh, in my rig. Now currently we only have two action constraints and those are located on the um, cheek tweak bones here. But I am going to use action constraints uh, in quite a few other different situations. And I like to be able to turn all those constraints on and off without having to select each one of those bones uh, in the armature. Another one I have called fleshy eyes. Now you remember back we added some automation to the eyelids whenever our uh, eyes rotate up or down, our eyelids will move up and down a little bit um, to add a little fleshiness to that. Now that is um, great to have that automation, but sometimes that can work against us. So I've added the ability to turn off the um, transformation constraints on those eyelids um, so that automation doesn't happen. Again, it's just an ability um, to, when it's working for us, have it on. When it's working against us as an animator, turn it off. I've, of course, have my sub D levels. I've also added the ability to turn on wire display and draw all edges for my mesh objects. So if I turn on wire display from zero to one, it's simply turning on these check boxes for wire and draw all edges. And I have this working on three separate meshes. I didn't feel it was necessary to put that on um, the eyes or the inner mouth here. These are the ones that uh, are most relevant. So. In this case, my wire display custom property is turning on wire display and draw all edges for three meshes. And of course, my x-ray on and off. So that is custom properties. They're very useful. If you found the um, tutorial tips in this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, good luck.